So the only way that this show could get any worse would be to bring out the main event right now, which is, again, Samoa Joe. What? It, these guys have no luck. They're either in a place, Samoa Joe, Jade Lethal, FTR, they're either in a place where people that they work for don't respect them and they can't get on TV or the company is not big enough and high profile enough and nobody knows how great they are and they finally get on national TV and some way or another, those that are most deserving get the biggest plate of shit. Samoa Joe's first Ring of Honor TV championship defense on national television is against Japanese grandpa. Minoru Suzuki... <laughs> A few hundred thousand people on the planet called this a dream match. Every other wrestling fan that's ever existed called this an embarrassing fucking joke. It's over. Hey, if I was a baseball fan, I'd like to see Babe Ruth play baseball, but not when he was 73 years old. I was a fan of Muhammad Ali. And I watched my Kentucky compatriot, hometown hero, all the way through his career until finally it wasn't pretty to see the Larry Holmes situation. Everybody gets old. I know Minoru Suzuki is a real shooter. I know he's an MMA legend. I know he's a big name in Japan. He's in his early 50s. He visually looks like a decrepit delivery boy. His shit looks phony except for the the chops that he really hits guys with that are standing there letting him do it, and he sells nothing because he can't even snap his neck or turn his head. He's like literally like a fucking Mr. Potato Head with the little short arms and legs that don't bend. And it's it, and you do you think at some point that with the and especially no knee pads, little short shooter boots to expose those bird legs, he looks like he's going to break. I know he can really whip everybody, but it's a ridiculous visual, and his work looks like shit. Tell me I'm wrong, Brian. I think the visual works. If you're someone who is exposed to him already and you enjoy him, even if he is older, it's, I think, different if you're someone who maybe just watched wrestling in America on TV and doesn't know New Japan talent who hasn't over appeared. the la If you've just watched TV wrestling for the last 30 years and don't know who this fucking guy is. I've oh. liked his work in the past. There's a Tokyo Dome match with Sakuraba a few years back that was fantastic. But every time he's appeared on AEW, he's looked smaller than he ever looked in New Japan to me. And he's not working, at least in my eyes, he's not working the same way he did a few years ago. And, you know, I saw the Samoa Joe Kenta Kabashi match where they just chopped each other. And for that room, it really worked and it was amazing. This was kind of another take at that, it felt like, for at least half the match. But at least Kabashi was, what, in his 30s at that point? Maybe 40? Yeah. Physically, he was getting ready to wrap it up. But, yeah. Maybe 40. It, they started with the chops and the forearms where it wasn't like punk and penthouse where this, they're just standing there hitting each other on purpose and allowing the other one to hit them in return. And it's stupid. And I love Samoa Joe and I love his, and I've been dying for somebody to give him a job and put him on television for the past five fucking years or whatever. I had to fast forward through the end of the chops. I, I was, I'm just going to fast forward until somebody leaves their feet. And it, I did. It was Joe gave Suzuki a nice shoulder tackle. He took a bump and immediately they went to the break. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll fast forward through the break. Come back from the break. Joe is trying for a cross face, but Suzuki can't bend his neck or his back so he couldn't get it. And then they did some slow, so sloppy stuff and then they started chopping again. Suzuki said, one more time and they start chopping. I'm like, motherfucker. Joe is so talented and he can, he's got, he can do the MMA style. He can move around like a big fucking 
Greyhound bus in the air. He's he can promo. He has a badass aura. The last thing you want is for some elderly, decrepit Japanese grandfather to be taking everything that Joe can dish out and smiling. That's counterproductive to anybody except the crowd they already have, which they're never going to add to with horse shit like this on television. So then Suzuki couldn't get the Gotch pile driver because he couldn't reach around Samoa Joe because his arms are a foot and a half long. I'm surprised he didn't wipe his own ass. And then Joe hit the muscle buster, one, two, three. And I wrote, thank Gotch, that's over. But it wasn't over. At least the Suzuki part was. But now I'm about to wish for more Suzuki.